I constantly hear that there are commercial solutions available out there, but they don't scale to the point that George made just now. They have more and more data that's increasingly getting more and more connected, but they don't have a ready-made solution out there which can scale to large amounts of data volume and still provide low levels of latency and high levels of throughput. So can you talk about that? Like, why is it a hard problem to solve? And can you talk about that a little bit? The biggest problem with scaling or one of the big hurdles that people get is it's like all the super node. So graphs, uh, if you look at any kind of naturally evolving system, not all the elements in the system are, are considered equal, meaning that um, in the graph, some vertices will have lots of edges and, and most vertices have very few edges. Um, you look in social networks, there's, you know, there's very few popular people. You look at airport networks, it's, you know, there's the hubs in airports uh, around the world. So what happens when you go to model that or you put that in the graph database is that you have a particular vertex and then you have to store all those edges co-located with that vertex. And so you get these hot spots where your traversals, if you're traversing, they're always hitting the same. They're always going to ultimately going to be going through that same vertex. They're always going to be going through Denver International Airport in essence. You know, it's a hub. And so whatever machine's representing that particular vertex, the Denver vertex is just getting slammed. One of the cool things that Aerospike's doing with the Aerograph is that uh, they are now the, the it's what's called the super node problem. And the super node problem is partitioning a, a vertex, a heavy vertex amongst multiple sibling vertices. You have like vertices that, that once you aggregate them together, represent Denver, but then you kind of partition Denver across multiple rows or records. So that helps with the super node problem considerably. And that's one of the big, one of the big hurdles with graph doing, you know, distributed representations and making sure things are efficient. And then the other thing is that you have to make sure your pointers, so graph databases, you have a ver vertex on one machine and it's referencing another vertex on another machine, you have to keep all that stuff in sync. So you have this bi-directional communication between all vertices that are connected. And so when you delete an, when you delete a vertex, let's say you delete an edge on one vertex on this machine, whatever vertex that, that edge is, you have to make what well. So this notion of, of keeping all your, all, all your edges in sync so you don't get these half edges is a difficult problem. And then you get a lot of data consistency issues in some graph databases where you'll delete a, a, a delete edge, but the, the edge on the other vertex is still represented. They're called ghost edges. And you have to go through and clean those up. There's just a lot of various problems when you just have one single world model and you don't have everything partitioned into individual tables. So all the complexities of having to manage that and dealing with that and making sure that the database that you are working with has a reasonable way of doing that. Most databases right now the graph databases, they, they're, you, you know, you, can, you tend to think of, of your graph, you jump into a vertex and you start traversing around and move through the graph. Where you jump into is always the question, and that's typically you need indices. For example, I need to find a person whose name starts with N is under the age of 30. So those, that, that particular search is an index search. What's nice about leveraging Aerospike as the underlying uh, foundation for Aerospike Graph is that the indexing mechanisms in Aerospike are very, very nice. So you can just jump records um, efficiently and you can do compound index lookups. So, and you don't really find that in other graph databases. They typically have issues with that initial primal primary jump into the data and um, Aerospike just comes up there for free, which is nice.